Hey, good day, folks. It's uh, Lance Klessig with Soil Keepers. Just want to bring you a thought for the day, something to noodle on as we talk more about regenerative agriculture and obviously the, the six soil health principles. One of those principles, which is really important, is armor. What are you talking about, Lance? Well, armor in the form of are you leaving your corn stalks on your field? Are you baling them off? Are you tilling them down? Are you leaving them? Could you be planting a, a cover crop, interseeding a, a mix of annual ryegrass and some brassicas, that type of thing, and growing that cover crop, that armor, throughout the whole growing season? There's lots of ways we can increase armor on our fields. We can go out and plant a sear rye, a winter trit, a winter wheat, a barley, any of those types of things that will grow after harvest before the ground freezes and come up and go gangbusters in the spring. There's lots of ways that we can armor the soil. And just to put it in perspective, folks, okay, it's mid-December here, it's November, uh, it's December, excuse me, about a week and a half in front of Christmas. Yeah, we've got some snow, we've got some ice. Armor is really important. You know what, one, one of the things that armor does is that it insulates our soil. Now to put that in context, I want you to think about something. Would you be out here next to me with nothing on but maybe, uh, maybe just your underwear and a t-shirt and a pair of socks? You wouldn't last very long, would you? Our soil biology does not like when we don't take care of it. So armor and having live roots 24-7, that, that not only feeds the biology, provides a home for it, it insulates it, it protects it. There's lots of reasons why we want to armor our soil. And oh, by the way, we will start cycling nutrients and make more nutrients available to next year's crop. The soil biology will do that for us. Oh, and by the way, it'll be breaking up the compaction layers that we might have down a little ways from past tillage. And oh, by the way, it will be increasing, increasing our infiltration rates when we get rain. So we're getting more water in the soil profile. It's cycling the nutrients. And oh, by the way, we will be decreasing our flooding that affects all of us in all of our more frequent rain events. And oh, by the way, it will be increasing our profitability. So again, there's a lot of food for thought. It's Lance Klessig with Soil Keepers. Thanks for joining us. I'd encourage you, if you like our videos, to give us a, a big thumbs up or a double thumbs up. Not that you can do that, but give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button below. Tell a friend about us and choose to make it a great day. Thanks all.